Hey everyone, this next video is about using the pen tool in Gravit, which would actually also be very similar to using the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. Um, it's almost exactly the same. A lot of the shortcuts and hotkeys are actually very similar in the same in Adobe Illustrator. So let's go ahead and use the pen tool. And why would we use the pen tool? The pen tool is a way to create shapes that aren't common. It's not for creating squares, circles, ovals. We have tools for that. But if you needed to create a custom shape, then you would most likely want to go to the pen tool. So the shortcut for the icon up here at the top for the pen tool is right here, or you can just hit P for pen on your keyboard. I'm actually gonna come here and I will start the pen tool that way. P for pen. And the way it works is, if you just single click, it will create straight lines. Here I am clicking, click, click, and it's going to create a straight line between every anchor that I plant using the pen tool. Now, while I'm using this, if you want to constrain it to a straight, a horizontal, or vertical line, you can hold shift on your keyboard and it will lock it in at certain angles. There's 0, 45, 90 if you want to do straight vertical lines. I'm going to let go of shift and I could do it at any angle I want. And that is just clicking to create straight lines. When I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and enter on my keyboard and hit V or go to my black arrow, hit V for my black arrow to make the selection. And now I'm actually able to delete this. Let's go ahead and start over. Now to create curves, you are going to click, hold and drag. So again, back to my pen tool, P for pen. And I'm going to click and drag and I'm holding on that one. So it's actually a click, hold and drag. Click, hold and drag. And what you do is every time there's a curve, either on the outside of the curve or the beginning of the curve, you're gonna kind of find that spot that's gonna drop an anchor and click and drag in the direction that you want this curve to go. So I'm going to click and drag, click and drag as if I'm tr tracing a shape. Now, if you have a shape that needs to make a hard corner and let's say go back in the other direction, what you're gonna do is while you're still holding the button on the mouse, you're gonna then hold the Alt key on your keyboard, hold Alt, and this is what I call the handlebar. When you hold the Alt key, it allows it to break this handlebar, and you can come back in the other direction. So let me go, let me let go of, uh, release the mouse first. Do not let go of Alt first, I'm gonna let go of the mouse, and I'm able to go back in a different direction and make a hard curve. So, <laughs> And uh, I'm done with this curve right here. And let me go ahead and go ahead and enter to finish this one. All right, so let's bring this into the example. Let me go to my black arrow V. There is this selection. I can hit delete on my keyboard. Let me bring in the template that you are going to work in. So to place the image, I'm gonna come up here to the place image or insert photo, insert image. And this is the template that you are going to download. It will be in your, in your Google Drive. And let's go ahead and place this into grab it and again what we need to do is take this image and we're going to over here on the layers toolbar under the pen tool template let's go ahead and lock this so it doesn't move around so um z for zoom i hit z on my keyboard for this little magnifying glass right here z for zoom let's go ahead and zoom in on this one and again just to um just to recap what we're doing single click let me go p for pen which here is your pen tool or you just click on the icon and I'm going to single click. Oh, before we do this, make sure you go ahead and set your fill and your stroke. On the fill color, I'm going to get rid of by clicking on the trash can right here. And the stroke or the border color, let's go ahead and make it a nice bright color so it stands out and change it to something like a nice bold three point font. I mean, a three point stroke, sorry. All right, and this is just straight line. So we're just going to single click single click and i'm going to do this really fast i'm not even going to hit these just right but just for the sake of the video single click single click and the point i want to make on this is whenever you're creating a shape you really want to always try to s finish where you started to make it a closed shape and when you get to the end it will actually your icon i don't know if you could see this but the pen tool icon it has a little circle that goes to it to show you that it is now a closed shape and that allows us allows us to fill it in, which you really want to make all shapes a closed shape. All right, for curves, again, it's going to be click and drag. So I'm gonna start up here at the top of this one. And these are all of the places where you want to drop an anchor. So I'm gonna click and drag. 
and I'm going to click, I'm holding, click, hold and drag, sorry, click, hold and drag, and we're gonna try to match the shape. Now, this one's a little bit tricky because I'm stretching, I'm trying to match this curve, but I'm having to stretch a little bit too far. So let's use the Alt key to break the handlebars. So just from experience, I'm going to, I know I should hit Alt, so I could bring this back in. That's a little bit too strong of a handle right there. Right about there is probably about right. I'm going to let go of my mouse, come to the next anchor drop, click and drag, click and drag. And I'm gonna go around this shape and click and drag on each of these. Now, the least number of anchors when tracing a shape is the best. It'll give you the smoothest curve. If you drop a lot of anchors on something, it's gonna be real chunky and clunky and not look very smooth. So let me finish this shape. And actually, I'm not doing very well on this, but that's fine, because I'm gonna show you how to come back and fix all this. So click and drag, click and drag, and on the final one, make sure you always finish at the beginning. Click and drag. All right, now that we're done, let's come back and chain and edit this, because this, by no means, I'm gonna hit V on my keyboard for my black arrow. So I go to my black arrow, and one more time, I'm gonna hit Z for zoom on my keyboard, Z for zoom, and let's drag around this area. We need to fix this area. So how do we fix this? I'm gonna click on my, click on the curve I just created, and to edit this, this is where we're gonna use, not the black arrow, but we're going to use the sub-select or the direct selection in Adobe Illustrator. The shortcut for the white arrow is the letter D on your keyboard or the white arrow. The white arrow allows you to select just parts of the curve, not the whole thing. So let me select my curve and I'm gonna to go to my white arrow or I'm gonna use D on my keyboard from here on out, but I'm gonna show you this is the white arrow and this allows you to click on the anchors and actually move the anchors and grab the handlebars and change the direction. So let's move this handlebar so it matches. I'm gonna come here and stretch this handlebar out a little bit. This curve is not very good. I just need to move that. I'm going to hold spacebar on my keyboard. Spacebar changes to my hand or my pan tool, and it allows me to move my page around when I'm holding spacebar. I'm still on my white arrow. Let's click on this anchor here. I can drag on the handlebars. I can drag on this handle, sorry. I can change the direction of this one. We're trying to match this curve to uh, the best we can. So again, you can click on an anchor, you can move it, you can drag it in and out, and, and stretch these handles to get it to match the curves to the best of your ability, right? I'm going to go control minus, control minus, control minus, control minus to zoom out, space bar to move my page over. And we're gonna do one more where we break the handlebars right here. So let me go to my pen tool, VP for pen. I'm gonna start off with this top one. I'm gonna click and drag. Think of like a teeter-totter I like to, where it balances. It's not this side of the curve, it's not this side of the curve, but it's perfectly balanced right here. So let's start right there. Go to the next anchor drop, click and drag. Oops, I missed that one. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. You gotta hold it. Now this is the one where you have to click and drag, but we need to break the handlebar by holding the Alt key. This is really important and grab it. And Adobe Illustrator, hold the Alt key. So again, I've got a, uh, mirrored handlebar it's the same on both sides but once i hold the alt key i can break it and bring it back around this direction and then come back and close my curve all right this one is almost good but if i want to make changes to it i'm going to come to my white arrow which is the shortcut is d on your keyboard and we could change all of these little anchors to get them to fit just right all right, if you need to. So your goal then is we're gonna finish tracing this Jaguar. And let me show you a couple of tips and tricks. If you, as you're tracing this Jaguar and you're done with it, I will show you on this little yin and yang right here. If you draw something and you realize you want to add an anchor or get rid of an anchor, just go back to your pen tool. So here's the pen tool or P for pen. I'm gonna to go to back to my pen tool, P for pen. And if you just click anywhere on the path, if you click on the path, you can add an anchor wherever you want. And that, now I'm gonna to go to my white arrow, select D on my keyboard, goes to my white arrow, and I can move that. Well, if I decide I wanna get rid of it, just go back to your pen tool, P for pen, and go back to this anchor and click on it, and it will 
actually that actually changes it sorry i'll click twice it will delete it um, there's a few variations between gravit and adobe illustrator but if you need to add an anchor just click click anywhere p for pen you could click and go to the white arrow i mean white arrow by selecting d on your keyboard and move it or um actually there's one other way to do it if you do go to your white arrow and click on an anchor actually let me go control c to move that one back let's click on this anchor right here click on this anchor and just hit backspace on my keyboard and it deletes that one. Oh yeah and there is one other way to to change these the path you can not only also you can grab the handlebars right here or you can actually if you're on your white arrow just click on the path itself and just drag it and it will change it also that's not my preference but it does work also all right i hope this helps i know the pen tool may seem a little intimidating at first but the more and more you you practice it the easier it'll get and it's a very very powerful tool in gravit and adobe illustrator take your time you will get better at it all right good luck to you